guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to do this video for you guys because it's a nail care video. So I'm gonna be doing my nails with you guys. I'm gonna show you guys how I take care of my nails. So I'm working with Bio Seaweed Gel. They are one of my favorite, favorite gel polish companies to work with. They are located in Toronto, Canada, so they're a Canadian company. I'm so excited to show you guys my favorite colors from them. There's also gonna be a giveaway, so make sure you guys stick around for the end of the video. I'm gonna explain all the details. So currently, this is what my nails look like right now. I get a lot of questions about what I ask when I go there. What I have over top is bio gel over top. I have fake tips on at the moment. Another thing she does, you guys, is makes them super thin for me. Super thin works if you have shorter nails, just because the longer they are, of course, they're more susceptible to break. I just like when she does them thin because it just looks a little bit more natural. My shape, I love the coffin shape. However, I'm really, really, really picky about my shape. The girl that does my nails is obsessed with shaping and she's like such a perfectionist. It just makes me so happy. Like when she's like turning in all different directions and she's trying to get it so perfect, I'm like, yes girl, get that shape. So what I do is I get coffin, but I get a little bit of a different coffin. I tell her not to make it too narrow. When your nails are shorter, you don't want to do a narrow coffin. You guys, it looks horrible because they end up looking like these little like bird beaks like I don't know how to explain it it looks bad I've done it before horrible y'all know nothing is simple with me there's always like something something I'm tweaking right now I'm really liking the short nails I just want something a little bit more natural right now that's just what I'm feeling so I'm gonna show you guys everything bio CB gel sent me and then I'm gonna show you guys my tips on how I take care of my nails the first thing they sent me was their little glow mini LED lamp this thing is so cute they have three different colors they have black white and pink can you guess what color I chose I chose white, of course. That's a close-up of the lamp. It's just a little mini lamp. I love it in the white. It does come with a cord, or you guys can use a wireless and put four AAA batteries inside of the back here, which is so cool. The other thing they sent me was a bunch of gel buffers. Why is pink just like so flirty and pretty? Like why? It's just such a happy color. So that's what they look like. They have their Bio CBD Gel logo on the front there. Then they sent me a pack of their files over here. I like to freshen up my shape. After a while, the corners of your nails, I don't know if you guys noticed, but they get rounded. That drives me absolutely nuts. Another nail file I wanna show you guys. They had sent me prior and I absolutely love it. This is the nail file that I use all the time to file my nails. This is the bigger version. It just works so well. I could just sit here and just like shape my nails all day. I seriously could, like I'm not even joking. I'll be like watching my show and I'm just like, let me get my nail file. Oh god, stop, stop. I'm glad I actually have the minis because now I can carry it in my purse, just in case. Okay, so now I'm gonna go through the colors that they sent me. I'm so excited to show you guys. Their product is also cruelty free and vegan friendly. So the first color that they sent me is Are You Sure? It's a really nice taupe color. I've actually done this color before and I really like it. So with gel polish, I just absolutely love it, you guys, because I can swatch as many colors as I want and all you have to do is literally wipe it off. Another thing I love about it is the drying time. There's nothing worse than sitting at the nail salon and you just have to like sit there and wait for your nail polish to dry. Nail polish takes forever. Oh, and the other thing about gel polish that I absolutely love, you guys, when you do nail polish, over time it's gonna get dull. Gel polish stays shiny way, way longer than nail polish. I'm gonna show you guys a trick that I use to shine my nails. I just grab a cotton pad, I put some alcohol on it, and then I just kind of rub it. They actually make them look brand new, which I absolutely love. So this is Are You Sure, guys. Very, very pretty, like taupe color. I love it so much. The next color, this color I'm so excited about. I haven't tried this one yet, but I've heard it's so popular. This one is called Peaches. So that's the color it looks like in the bottle. Such a pretty color for spring. Like I can't wait to try this one. Definitely a spring color. So that's it on my nail right there in the middle. It has like this peachy undertone. So the next color is Cotton Angel. Such like a very soft baby pink. You guys know I love these tones and I get a ton of questions as to which ones I normally do. You can see it more in person. But this is the one with the swatch on it. Kind of just enhances what I have right now. The toffee is one of my favorites from them. This is when I want a tad bit of color. You guys can tell by the bottle there. I've already used it before. So this is the color that toffee is. It's a little bit more of like a mauve color. So that's what toffee looks like. Really, really pretty mauve sort of color. This color is so pretty. Halifax. I have never done this one before, but I'm actually really tempted to try it. And it's like a very nice tan color. Oh my goodness. This is so pretty. So that's Halifax right there. Like, oh my God, how pretty is this? Why haven't I not done this color yet? This is so gorgeous. 
Another thing I do a lot with gel polish is I'll layer colors. So sometimes I'll be like, I want one coat of Halifax and one coat of something else. So a lot of my colors sometimes are custom and they're not just one straight color. The next color is Mousse. Mousse, I have a soft spot for Mousse because I have a soft spot for taupe. And this is like a really, really, really pale sort of gray taupe. This is not my first rodeo with uh, Mousse for sure. So that's what mousse looks like. How pretty is that, you guys? It's just such a subtle, like, taupe stone sort of color. Nails, I'm obsessed with. I love having my nails done. If I don't have my nails done, I don't feel feminine. I just don't feel like a woman. And lastly, marshmallow. Oh my god, you guys. Marshmallow is another, like, really, really good natural sort of color by them. Very, very, like, pinky white. I've done this one before, too. So I'll show you what it looks like in the bottle there very like super white and pinky cotton angel is like super super sheer whereas this one definitely has a little bit more of a punch when you do it so that's it right in the middle finger right there it's definitely less see-through than cotton angel is this is another like tip and trick when you're doing your nails lately I've changed my routine I used to go every two weeks but that would cost me like a hundred bucks a month now I go once a month so it cost me 50 bucks a month what that does is of course it helps my bank account and my wallet but one thing I definitely recommend is if you guys want to make your nails last longer, picking a color that's definitely more sheer and natural because those colors when your nail grows out before you really need to go get a fill, it's going to be less noticeable. So if you do, of course, like a bright pink, you're definitely going to be able to see around the cuticle that you need to fill. I've swatched all the colors for you guys. The other thing that they sent me was, of course, their base and top coat. You absolutely need this if you're going to be using this product. There's some of them that say three-step. So that means you will need to use the top and base coat. I do have a couple colors from their Unity collection, which means it's all in one. It already has the base and top coat in it, which is super cool, so you don't need this. And then the last thing they sent me was the base and top coat if I'm using the nail polish version. One good thing about nail polish, I will say, is it's so easy to switch colors. I was obsessed, you guys, before with doing my nails, and I would switch my nail color, I kid you not, like every couple days. That's why I find it so hard to like commit to one color when I go to the nail salon. And with gel, it takes a little bit longer to remove off. That's the only thing with gel. So that's everything they sent me. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I do my nails and a couple of tips and tricks that I have. I love to clip around my cuticles and just take off all the little pieces that are kind of sticking up around there and it kind of just cleans up the nails a little bit. I never push back my cuticles. My nails grow actually very, very well. Every couple days I will do this and I will just go around my nails and kind of take off any dead skin. And this, you guys, this is my obsession. I love shaping my nails. Can you guys see like on the corners here? They're just not sharp and they're very, very kind of rounded. I don't like that. I like when they're super, super sharp around the edges. This is the one that I have not filed, and this is the one that I just filed. You can tell it looks a lot more sharper and cleaner, whereas the other one looks a little bit more dull and rounded. I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of my shaping, and then wash my hands so they're just wet here. There's nothing like having a fresh shape. So our shape is now done, all nice and sharp. Yes! My next nail tip that I absolutely love, you guys, is vitamin E. It's going to keep your cuticles looking moisturized all the time. I used to buy Essie Cuticle Oil, their apricot one. I do really love that product if you guys also want to try it out. But again, you guys know I am like natural crazy. So I love using natural products. I'm going to do this vitamin E step afterwards. The other thing we're absolutely going to need is rubbing alcohol. BioC Regel recommends anything over 70% alcohol. This one is actually 95 so we're good to go. I'm just going to put a bunch of alcohol on my cotton pad here and what we're going to do is we're going to clean anything we have off of our nail. I'm just going to wipe that down with a dry one now just to make sure we don't have anything wet on the nail and we're going to get ready for application. I have plugged in my little LED lamp over here. I've plugged it into my computer using the USB and then when you put your nails inside, the light will automatically come on. I already have a gel base coat already on my nails, so I don't need to put a base coat, but I will be using their top coat. Can you guys guess what color I'm choosing? I chose marshmallow. I'm so excited about using this color. I just want something really super classy and pretty. That's why I chose this one. So we're going to go ahead and get started. You don't want to be touching your nails or putting any cream on your hands right now. You can do that afterwards. You do want to do nice thin coats. You don't want to do anything too thick. So I like to take most of the product off of the brush and then I like to apply it. It's so much easier to paint your nails. Nail polish, you can mess it up so much more. Whereas gel polish is not going to dry until you put it inside of the actual lamp. So that is what's so cool about it. So now we're ready to put our nails inside of our lamp. It does say to keep it in here for 30 seconds. Now we're going to go ahead and apply the second coat. It's really up to you how many coats you guys want of this color. To finish it off by applying our top coat. 
just finished this hand. It looks so pretty, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my right hand. And then once we're done, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. So we just finished doing both of our hands. Look how pretty this color looks. It's so pretty, you guys. So classy, I'm so happy with it. Now we're going to do the last step. Now that everything is nice and dry, we're gonna take some vitamin E on our Q-tip here and we're just gonna go around our cuticles. I kinda just like to rub it in just a little bit. And you'll notice such a difference in your cuticles. You guys know how much I love using vitamin E. I use it as a lip balm all the time throughout the day. Every room that I'm in, I'm not even joking with you guys. There's always a bottle of vitamin E with me. I love it for my face as well. If you have dry skin anywhere, vitamin E is amazing for dry skin. I'm going to show you guys a close-up of how much better your cuticles look when you have the vitamin E on there. And you also get a little bit of that shine and your skin just looks so much more moisturized. And last but not least, a gel manicure is never finished until you put some cream all over your hands to kind of freshen your skin. So I just have here some cocoa butter. I'm just going to rub it in to both of my hands. And that's our finished gel manicure, you guys. I gotta put my ring on. Where's my, where's my ring? This hat over here with the nail emoji. I can't, like, I love this emoji so much and I can't believe they made a hat with it. Gotta try it on for you guys. I'm not a hat person. I'm just warning you. If I don't look as cute as I normally do, I'm sorry. Like, every time I go to get my nails done, I'm gonna walk in with this. How do I look you guys with my nails all done in my hat? This hat is so cute, like I can't get over it. It just gives me life. Hopefully you guys enjoyed all of my tips today. All the items that I showed you guys that they sent me today, I will leave links to them down below if you guys wanna check them out. Hey guys, so here's the details on how to enter the giveaway. It's gonna be open to the US and Canada. Two lucky winners, not one, but two lucky winners are gonna get a $50 gift card with BioCBJ. Number one, you must subscribe and follow us on Instagram, me and BioCBJ. I will leave the handles here down below. Number two, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. And number three, leave a comment down below about the video and also don't forget to leave your IG handle. The giveaway is only gonna be open for 48 hours, so make sure you guys don't forget to enter. Once the two winners are picked, BioCBJ will contact you directly for your gift card. I wish you all the best of luck and I can't wait to find who my two winners are. As always, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching and I will see you babes in my next video.